Hey guys, uh, Jason here. So we've got um, that Spanish four real uh, ring making here. <laughs> um, going to the next step and the scary steps. So um, we'll be taking my time. So uh, I've been trying to figure out what size hole to punch and decided to go with the 9 16 So I usually do about a half. Um, but I want to go a little bit bigger because it's going to be a smaller ring. And here's a, a band I did. This is with the 11 16 So it's about a size 8 with a stone. Kind of cool. Um, I'll show you. I'll do another video on this process here. But I want, this is the half dollar that I had with that size hole and that size band. So um, it's going to be a man's wedding band, size 7.5. And um, see the, the the question I have though is that the larger the hole, the more likely it'll be successful. But because you're you're not stretching the inner portion as much, but with the larger hole, that's less material, a narrower band, and I'm not sure if I have to remove any more material off the outside here once the ring is formed. So I I want to have a little extra material. Um, to play with, and I've got uh, try to get the focus going here. There we go. Um, this is the nine sixteenths, five eighths, and eleven sixteenths, and the plugs that you see there. So um, I was thinking five eighths, uh, but I think I'll go with the nine sixteenths, and um, just to give me a little bit more material to work with. So, and I will be making a pendant out of the plug. From the coin as well. So first, <coughs> excuse me. First step is to make is to <laughs> sorry. First step is to anneal. I usually don't anneal on on the rings I make anymore because I want to save the detail. Uh, leave the material hard, the work hardened, so that you don't damage the detail. But I'm concerned about the work hardness on this coin here because it um, I'm seeing signs of, of um, uh, surface uh, weakness due to work hardness so I'm going to anneal it first and then I'll punch a hole I'll probably put a piece of paper in there to help protect the detail uh, which I usually don't do with if I leave it hardened but once it's annealed I will add some paper to protect it probably on the bottom and on top so I'll show you that process but uh, we'll do the annealing process first And I'm going to make the room as dark as I can. Yeah. 